Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing an Amazon faves and regrets. I've seen a lot of Amazon faves, but I don't think I've seen any videos where people actually talk about things that they regret purchasing. So I'm definitely going to show you guys and talk about some things that I regret purchasing. But before we jump in, I do have a word from our sponsor, and I do wanna thank Audible for sponsoring today's video. All right, you guys, before we get into this Amazon faves, you guys know that Audible is an Amazon company, and I do wanna thank Audible for sponsoring today's video. You guys know that Audible is the best place to listen for whatever you're interested in, from best-selling audiobooks in every genre, to exclusive Audible originals to popular podcasts. If you guys like podcast culture, it's all in one place. Audible offers an incredible selection of audiobooks across every genre, from bestsellers and new releases to celebrity memoirs, mysteries and thrillers, motivation, wellness, business, and more. You'll discover exclusive Audible originals from top celebrities, renowned experts, and exciting new voices in audio. I mean, I should do voiceovers myself. As an Audible member, you can choose one title a month to keep from their entire catalog, including the latest bestsellers and news releases. All Audible members now also get access to a growing selection of titles included with membership that you can listen to all you want. The selection includes audiobooks, Audible originals, and podcasts, and more get added every month. You guys know I like to do book clubs. I've kind of fell back on doing them, but I have been reading the same book for the past two months, and I love that Audible also offers those books in audio, so whenever I fall behind in reading, I can always just play it in my car and yeah, I mean, it's super convenient. The Audible apps makes it easier to listen anytime, anywhere while traveling, working out, walking, doing chores, you decide. In a small town in Montana, that book, Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich, changed my beliefs about money so dramatically that my use of its principles attracted financial success to me in a way I had not previously imagined. Thinking or growing rich hadn't been something I had much interest in, but shortly before discovering that book, I had decided that I wanted to modify the way I earned and increase the amount of money that I received. And so it turned out that my attraction to Hill's book was a direct answer to what I'd been asking for. Let Audible help you discover new ways to laugh, be inspired, or be entertained. New members can try it for free for 30 days. All you have to do is visit audible.com backslash Payton or text Payton to 500-500. Thanks again to Audible for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about are hair items and products because I, I'm wearing my natural hair right now. I don't know if you guys can tell. But girl, I got some clip-ins with it too. But I have been using a few products that I got off of Amazon that I literally swear by. These are my absolute fave. I use whenever I do my, I do my own hair, even my wigs. I install my own wigs and I do my own hair for the most part. But when I get like blowouts, I like to get them professionally done. But most recently, I did my own silk press and blowout, so I'm going to talk to you guys about the things that I ordered off of Amazon. Okay, one of my absolute favorite products is this crimper. This is like the best thing since sliced bread, okay? It gets really, really hot, like really, really hot. I have burned myself, like I think I burned my arm once crimping my hair but when I tell you any time that you have ever seen me with waves or cramps I did them myself and I used this bad boy right here from Amazon I ordered it um two years ago so I think I ordered it in 2020 when I first started vlogging I had an old crimper that I had got like that purple crimper that I think everybody got from Sally's I had that but it just didn't give the waves that I wanted like I like bed head beachy waves this literally is the perfect crimping iron for it and it gets really really hot I cannot say enough good things about it if you want a really like casual beachy wave look you can use this or if you want like a really put together like those crimps that look like they don't move you know what i'm saying like 
black hair magazines i mean you can use it for that too this is a really really good crimping iron and it gives the absolute beautiful like mermaid beachy waves all right the next product i didn't really know i needed it until i started seeing everybody else with one and that's this little tiny flat iron here this is by Tur Turvalix, okay i got it off of amazon the only reason why i got it is because when the baby hair trend hit the scene everybody was using this to like curl their baby hairs before they laid it down with like a mousse or a gel and i'm like I don't really get that. I don't really get the point of it. But let me tell you, I don't even use it for that. I use it for my natural hair because I have natural 4C hair. This thing gets so hot. Oh my God. I think it go up to 450. This get hotter than my other flat irons. This gets really, really hot. And I'm talking about it gets so close to the scalp and really pulls those coils straight. Like... I'm telling you, you don't know you need it until you need it. This is like heaven sent, okay? When I just did my silk press, I use this a lot to get really close because if I use like big flat irons that I bought like out of the store, the steam from it always burns my scalp or I end up burning myself. This doesn't do that and it gets hot. So be careful. But I mean, it's a really, really close like it gets really really close to the scalp and then as you can see like when you press it together i don't think a lot of people talk about this but when you press it together the irons actually like close in touch so you get a really good straight you can actually probably i mean i would because i have a lot of hair but you can just use this for your whole head, honestly, because they get so hot and it's a nice um, ceramic iron. The next hair product is this blow dry brush by Revlon. Now you can probably find this in stores. As a matter of fact, it's not even a probably. I know you can because I saw it in Ulta yesterday, but it was way more expensive in Ulta than it was on Amazon. I will say that. I actually saw a girl using a brush like this. She had a pink one though, but she had like really, really curly hair like myself. And it seemed like her blow dry time was cut in half. Like usually it takes me like an hour and a half to blow dry my hair with this bad boy. It takes like 20 to 30 minutes. It's so fast. Um, I won't say it's like extremely hot, like damaging hot, because like when I'm blow drying my hair, there's not a lot of smoke coming off of my hair. But at the same time, the smoke can be in conjunction with like products that you use. But I won't say this gets like unbearably hot, like Dominican salon hot. It's a good heat that's not damaging because you don't want to. You, you want to be natural and like not have to relax your hair and be able to straighten your hair without a lot of heat damage. So blow drying, steaming, flat iron, curling, that's a lot of heat on your hair. So I would definitely recommend this one because it's going to get your hair dry and straight enough, pulled out enough to be able to flat iron it and give it a nice silk press and it have a lot of body and just, you know what I'm saying, movement without the damage and too much heat highly highly recommend 10 out of 10 okay this is the next product and the last hair product this is a hair steamer but it's a two-in-one so you can take the bonnet hood off and connect this wand and you can actually like turn it so let's say like if you're standing up over your sink you can turn this so the steam sprays directly in your face instead of you having to hover over the steamer. And I mean, you can add essential oils to this. This is really, really nice. Um, I decided to do my own silk press recently. And I noticed that like a lot of people, a lot of professionals that do silk presses and blowouts, they're using hair steamers a lot now to really just lock in the moisture and help um, 
treat your hair better with this deep conditioning because hair steamers in conjunction with a good deep conditioner will really help your hair maintain its moisture and overall health right so i was like okay let me order me a steamer so i started looking up hair steamers and i saw this two-in-one because i love to steam my face when I'm doing my skincare regime as well. So when I saw this, I was like, oh baby, I needed this because I have literally, I have I think two or three facial steamers upstairs and I hate using them. One, because they don't hold a lot of water. So you have to change it all the time, right? Um, you can't put any essential oils in it. And not only that, but like they're so small so when i'm doing my skincare routine i literally have to hover over the steamer to make sure the steam like hits my face otherwise it's just blowing steam in the room and the air is like you know blowing it away so i love this because i can sit it on my counter this one sticks up i can turn it and it will actually blow it right in my face while i'm standing up i don't have to like hunch over you know what i'm saying i love this and this was super affordable i think on amazon it was only like 64 dollars and i don't know if y'all noticed this but on amazon you can use coupons pay attention because there will be like little areas under the products that'll say um this has a 10 percent coupon but if you don't click the coupon you won't get it at checkout so make sure y'all use your coupons because a lot of these vendors on amazon offer coupons for you guys to use okay next up let's talk about kitchenware and little gadgets and doohickeys first i want to go in with my regrets okay first regret is this here so this is a drawer divider, right? Um, the reason why I regret purchasing this is because they don't really fit my drawers. So I have two different size drawers. So if I use it this way, then I can use it for the bigger drawers. But I specifically bought it for my smaller drawers and it doesn't fit this way or this way so this is a regret for me but i think if you have all large drawers like that wide this would be perfect for your kitchen just to help divide your cooking utensils i am practicing minimalism so i don't have my cooking utensils and everything on the counters i like to have like a clean counter space for the most part part so i like to put everything in drawers and i bought these specifically for dividing my cooking utensils in yeah too big all right the next regret is this wine aromatic mixer thing i i forgot what it's called but i literally never use it i drink wine and i just pour it from the glass and drink it that way i never use this thing um you have to charge it right in i'm i honestly am getting to the point where i hate having to charge something so when i buy something that's like cordless and usb chargeable one i always lose the usb chargers which for the most part everything has the android connector so i can use any charger for it really i can use any cord for it really but i always lose it and whenever the battery goes dead i can never remember to charge it up so when i do want to use it it doesn't work Oh, but it's still charged. However, it's saying it's still charged, but when I put this in wine, I don't know if it's clogged or what, or maybe because it needs to be charged, but it literally just does nothing for me. Like, it's a waste of money and a waste of time, honestly. It's a fancy, it's something fancy for your kitchen when you have company and you want to impress people. But honestly, if you just want to pour yourself a glass of wine, it's all going in your stomach at the end of the day, honey. You don't need this. You don't need it. 
Okay, the next regret are these under cabinet lights. You can also use these in your closet to give a nice aesthetic over your shoes and light up. These actually are motion censored. So whenever you walk up to the closet or walk in the closet, these turn on and again, these are also USB chargeable and they come in a pack of two with one cord for each. So, ooh child, imagine having a closet full of these and all of them go dead at the same time. Yeah, good luck, good luck. So that's one of the reasons why I regret buying them. But also, this little sticky part back here that's supposed to make it stick, it doesn't, it doesn't. And then the light itself, it's a sticky part. The magnet holds the light in place, right? But if you, you it doesn't stick on, the magnet only works on certain parts of the light. So when you apply it, right, sometimes it'll just come off. Like the light will just come out. So this part will still be stuck up to whatever it's stuck to, but the light will just fall out. I mean, it's so poorly thought out. I absolutely hate it. Um, I've had them in my kitchen i've had them in my office closet i've had them upstairs they fall all throughout the day like imagine being upstairs in bed and this falling on the cabinet it sounds like somebody's breaking in your house like i mean it is literally the scariest thing in the absolute world and i hate i bought these because i bought so many oh my god i bought so many hated it all right, let's get into the things that I actually love. One, you guys know I'm an espresso martini enthusiast, whatever. Girl, I had to give me some cute martini glasses, okay? And when I tell you these are literally beautiful in heaven, it makes you want to drink. When you see them, like, I want to make me a drink right now. I want to make me a matcha teeny. I haven't made a matcha teeny in so long. Y'all probably going to make me a matcha teeny tonight. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the matcha teeny coming on, okay? These are freaking gorgeous martini glasses. I feel like if you want to make a martini, it should be in a glass like this. I feel like it's ergonomically friendly. Like, it's just a beautiful glass. It's not doing too much. It's not... It's not your traditional martini glass. I feel like you got a little oomph. You know what I'm saying? Love it. These were super affordable and they came in a pack of four. Okay, the next item are these glass coffee mugs. Now, you ain't even an influencer if you don't talk about your favorite glass coffee mug in your video or your Amazon face. I feel like every influencer have their own favorite glass coffee mug. This one is mine because I love how this part kind of reminds you of a saucer. I talked about this in my most recent vlog. My grandma and my great grandma, when they drank coffee, they used to drink it with an actual coffee mug and saucer. This reminds me of the saucer and it also helps me hold it, right? Because like coffee's hot. I don't want to just, this, first of all, this is not cheap glass. This is a heavy coffee mug. So when I drink it, I hold it with two hands because one is heavy and two it's hot and three, that's how you're supposed to drink coffee and tea, honey. Period. Okay. Love these and they came in a pack of six. Okay. My next fave is... My little bar tender mixer, baby. Somebody called T Pain. I at the bar tender. Ooh, is she looking for me? This come with everything. What's this for, for the um the mojitos? I think this for the mojitos. I ain't used it yet. But this comes with everything. It has straws on it. It has the little things for your uh, dirty martinis. Hey, it comes with the strainer. Listen, if you want to make a good espresso martini, you need this right here and my recipe. And get this, it comes with a recipe book and how to make espresso martini is in the recipe book. I'm telling you, we put it on the map. We put it on the map, you and I, we did. 
you got everything. You don't need anything else. Like, you got everything you need to make a drink. You know, when I have company, I'd be like, y'all want something to drink? I know how to... Listen, I'm a bartender. And what about it? Okay, takey time, takey time for the influencers. Okay, so... Y'all probably don't even want to know about my mics because every time I do a sit down video with my Canon, the sound is absolutely horrible. I have bought so many microphones trying to figure out how to remove the hissing out of my videos when I do sit down videos. That's why I'm actually using my blogging camera for this video because I don't have any problems with sound in this video. However, I did recently buy um, a mic um situation you know kind of like when they do when they had little mics in the reality shows so you put this on you and then this is like the antenna or whatever i feel like if i use this with a better camera i'm going to invest in a sony dslr soon it's three thousand dollars in listen okay listen i have to make it has to be a logical splurge for me like i have to know hey are you going to be doing a lot of sit down videos because if not you don't need that camera. Keep your little bootleg ass, old ass Canon and just make it work. But I actually really, really like this. It's just when I can figure out how to fix the sound, it's gonna sound a whole lot better. So I'm probably gonna start doing my sit down videos and connecting this to my phone instead, recording the sound from my phone and just continuing to record the sit down video from the Canon so it can remove the hissing from it and I'll have better sound. But whew, that sounds like a lot of work, but I do really like this. This has good reviews and I'm actually glad that I bought it. The next piece is this little connector, right? So this goes on top of your DSL, DSLR camera and you can put your mic, you can put this uh, thing here, which is a light um yeah so i'm glad that i got this because it's an extender that lets me mount more things on top of my camera also i'm really happy that i got this light but like i said i hate anything that requires that i charge it with the usb so i forget to do that when i film so of course this went dead and i had to break out my ring light right here but i really do like this because you can adjust the lighting right so like you can adjust whether it's like really really bright or dim but also you can adjust the setting of like the type of light so if you want a more daylight setting it'll be like this but if you want a more amber setting you can change it to be more warm and give a more like i don't know tan warm feel if you will I love this thing. And the last tech item I'm actually using, so you can't see it, but I will show it right here. It's this tripod, but it extends out, right? So it's perfect for vloggers because it stabilizes you, but also like it pushes the camera out further. So because the arm is so long when you're walking and vlogging, the camera ain't all up in your face, getting all of your imperfections. And it all, it just makes, it gives a vibe that someone is actually walking with you and like holding the camera and walking backwards as you're walking versus arm's length of you holding uh, the Sony grip. And it's still like super in your face and super close to you. So I really, really liked it. And it was like, I think $16. Okay, and the next item is an item that I did not know I needed it until I needed it. And it's this portable cordless heating pad. And it has three massage levels. Let me tell you, if you have really bad cramps, this is what you need right here. You literally tie it around your waist, set it and forget it. Oh my God, I used it for the first time the other day when I was menstruating and Oh, it helped so much. The heating pad really gets hot. It really gets hot. And the massage levels, I put it literally all the way on level three. And it helps my cramps 
so much. Oh my God, because recently Motrin just was not giving what it was supposed to give. Um, and this came the day I started. And I'm telling you, it was, I used it until the battery went dead. Of course, this is another one of those situations where you have to charge it with the USB. So I will have to remember to charge it before my next cycle, but it came through in a clutch. It was definitely heaven sent. I actually saw an Instagram ad that was um, promoting this and advertising it. And you know how those Instagram ads were when it says learn more, when you click on learn more, it makes you read this long article until you, you literally have to scroll, 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 scroll all the way down to the bottom. And then they're selling it from the, for this outrageous amount. I'm like, let me see if I can find this on Amazon because I'm pretty sure someone's selling it, right? So I went on Amazon and I typed in a uh, portable heating pad. And there it was. And it was like, let me see. I could tell you how much it is right now. $29.99. So get this, sis. If you have bad cramps, you need this. All right, and last up is home decor. Some of my fave items that I love and I found on Amazon. The first are these two vases. So if you've watched my uh, living room tour, you know that I have two large ones exactly like this that I got from at home. So I just feel it went with the mood and the vibe of the living room to get these two small ones to put on my TV stand, my floating TV stand, and they are absolutely perfect and they're just so dainty. I love them and they were super, super affordable. So if you have the large ones from at home, I highly recommend getting these as well, just as like a little accent for your TV stand or your countertops, um, just because it matches and it goes so well. Another home decor item that I absolutely love is this linked chain so i mean i'm pretty sure you've seen this all over amazon and on many amazon faves this is just like the perfect accent if you're not trying to do a lot with your space and you're practicing minimalism this i sit on top of two coffee table books and it's perfect like it's chef's kiss like that's all you need then I also got this Elements of Style Designing a Home and a Life book. So this is, for me, it's a coffee table book. I, I actually looked through it and in reference to my aesthetic, it's just a coffee table book. Like I wouldn't actually like read this or try to find inspiration because it's really colorful. Like this is for the girls that are going for color in their home um but i liked it because of that here <laughs> that's why i got it so it's a fave and then second how can you not be an influencer with the freaking chanel coffee table book okay you gotta get it and i think this one was actually affordable if i'm not mistaken because i know the tom ford one was 80 dollars, and i can't make myself buy a book this $80 that I'm not going to read. But this one I think was uh, a little bit more affordable. And not only that, but it's actually stuff in here, girl. Hello. If you ever get bored and just want to go through it, I highly suggest going through it and reading it. Learn a little bit about Coco. But love it because the Chanel is there. And I actually saw this in an Airbnb and i found it on amazon and immediately bought it and it's been a fave ever since and i use it as a coffee table book all right that is the end of my amazon haul and faves and also regrets if you guys want any of the items that i mentioned in today's video everything will be linked in my description box as well as on my amazon storefront also if you love this video please give me a thumbs up so i know to continue to do them i do want to also ask forgiveness for the lighting switches switch ups this is my first time doing this type of video and i'm really trying to find a spot that i will really love doing these so i like play around with like the different lighting and, and spots in my home so just forgive that i know it don't look like your usual traditional amazon fave video but 
That's why you're here and not there, right? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in another Amazon Faves really, really soon. Because, listen, 2022, I had 52 orders. So, I ain't done yet. It'll be another video. Peace. Jersey!